Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We still measure level. And today we measure the level not directly. Right? Today we are talking about the weight method. Well, we have again a tank, this tank. This time we don't need anything, so the tank can be closed or whatever. Yeah? And it is filled to a certain amount and we want to determine how much liquid is in there. Yeah. So the only thing we are doing, this sounds a little bit easy, but you know there is a lot of a lot of things we have to we have to do. Weight this, okay? Lo measure the load. Yeah. So we put in here a load cell. Measure determine the mass and whatever whatever comes out here. Eh? For instance, current. Eh? So there is a load cell. Wegezelle in German. Eh? So we determine the mass of this thing. And the heavier it gets, the more must be in, right? That's it. Indirect measurement eh? can be very accurate. That's the plus side, huh? very accurate, on different forms. It doesn't really matter how this tank is formed. I can measure, I can measure, yeah, I don't have to think. I can measure, right? However, the the uh, density must be constant. Yeah? So that's negative. Yeah? Density must be constant. If the density of this whatever is in there is changing, I measure non-correct values. Okay? So can be very accurate in different forms uh, and we are measuring the content. The amount and not the height. Uh -huh. So we're measuring really the amount of how much liquid is inside there. However, I said, just put it on a scale, yeah? put it on a load cell. If we have existing things, this cannot be just, you know, there is a tank and I want to measure the level, put it on the load cell. It's not working. Yeah? There is a lot of effort. Yeah? This is uh, a lot of effort to build. place load cells there, place then the tank on it and so on. Yeah. So this is the weight method. All right. Next, next thing, how to measure, how to measure level. Yeah. This is very accurate. We can really, really determine small amounts of changes. If we don't have to be that accurate, yeah. then our next method is suitable. Huh? Next method we'll discuss uh, in next video. We will only do it in steps. How those stepwise measurement uh, is working, I will explain in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.